hello again everyone in this video tutorial we are going to solve this given equation that involve radicals and eventually we're going to check our answer for any extraneous solution as well so let's go ahead and get started we're going to square on both sides because we are dealing with the square roots so once you square both sides this square and square root there that undo each other we got 2x plus 1 equal to on this side we will be using the fact a minus b squared so that's going to be simply 4 square minus 2 times 4 times the square root of x minus 3 plus square root of x minus 3 square. And by the way, on the right hand side, we use this fact. As you can see on the right hand side, a minus b squared. So in this case, this is 4 was our a and this part was our b so we did exactly we followed this fact so let's go ahead and simplify now 2x plus 1 equals to 4 square is 16 minus 2 times 4 is 8 square root of x minus 3 plus this square and square root undo each other we got x minus 3 so next thing what we're going to do is we are going to simplify the right hand side we see any like terms 16 minus 3 is 13 minus 8 square root of x minus 3 plus x and on this left hand side is 2x plus 1. now what we want to do is we want to isolate this x minus 3 radical part the square root so that means we're going to move this 13 and x on the left hand side so we will end up with 2x plus 1 is already there positive 13 become negative 13 and this x becomes negative x equal to on the right hand side is going to be negative 8 x minus 3 let's simplify the left hand side 2x minus x is x minus 12 so far so good equals to negative 8 times square root of x minus 3 now the next thing what we're going to do is we want to take the square once again to undo this square root on the right hand side so this is going to give you x minus 12 square is going to give you x square minus 24x plus 144 equal to negative 8 square is going to be 64 times x minus 3. And by the way, you might be wondering how did we get the left hand side? Here is the fact you just simply use the foil method you multiply and you're gonna get same thing so now next thing is what I want you to do is I want you to distribute over here so this becomes 64 X minus that is gonna be how much uh, can you tell me 64 times 3 is 190 2 on the left hand side still we have a x square minus 24 x plus 144 now we're going to move everything on the left hand side okay so I want to move everything on the left hand side so what is going to happen is we already got x square minus 24 x plus 144 is already there and this is going to become negative 64 
x plus 192 equal to 0. And once we simplify it, we should get x square minus 88x plus 336 equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation that can be easily factored out if you are careful. So the possible factor is going to be x minus 4 and the other factor is x minus 84. Now let's go ahead and solve for x. Before I do that thing I'm going to split them up x minus 4 equal to 0 and x minus 84 equal to 0. x turns out to be 4 is one of our solutions and x equal to 84 is an other one. And now we're going to check our answer for any extraneous solution. One of the solution turns out to be was 4. Let's go ahead and check that one first. So wherever you see x in the original equation, replace it by 4. So we are going to get 2 times 4 plus 1 equals to question mark 4 minus 4 minus 3 square root. So that's going to give you 8 plus 1 question mark. Is it equal to 4 minus square root of 1? That is going to give you square root of 9 question mark. Is it equal to 4 minus square root of 1 is 1? And a square root of 9 is 3 question mark. That's equal to 3. Is it true or false? Yes, this statement is true. So that means x equals to 4 is our solution. And finally, we're going to check for our other solution x equals to 84 for an extraneous solution. So wherever you see x in the original equation, you replace it by 84. So what is going to happen? This becomes 2 times 84 plus 1 question mark. Is it equal to 4 minus 84 minus 3? So what is going to happen is 2 times 84 is 168 plus 1 question mark 4 minus square root of 81. So that's the square root of 169 question mark again 4 minus square root of 81 is 9 isn't it? And square root of 169 is 13. The question mark is 4 minus 9 is negative 5. Is that statement true? No, this is not true. This is false. So that means x equals to 84 is an extraneous solution. Thus, our conclusion is x equal to 4 is our only solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.